Hey, what's up, guys? It's John here, Sub Zero Gaming. Uh, welcome to part two of the pausing your game tutorial. Uh, before I have originally had a user tell me that when you set time dot time to go to zero, you cannot use on GUI function. Um, unfortunately, he had a personal user error, and it was not the cause of time dot time scale. I've been messing around with it, and it works just fine um, for me. Let me go ahead and show you what I have currently here. And um, what you'll notice is when I pause the game, a menu screen will pop up in one second. Let me just uncomment out my code here. Alright, so this is what we're going to create today, guys. When I pause it, I get this menu screen, and I, when I hit unpause, it goes away. And then you'll see a debug is clicked as well. So you hit P, menu screen comes up, unpause. And it works. All right. So setting time scale at um, time to zero does not affect it at all. All right. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, let me go ahead and just comment that back out again. Um, what you want to do, guys, is go ahead and put this in your player class. I mean, you can even create a new GUI class if you wanted to. Just gonna comment it out so we can do it all from scratch. Okay, so what we have starting out is if you watch video one, which you should, is we have our if input dot get key down key code dot p. So if we hit the p key, then what we want to run through our pause function, and our pause function should be located down here or somewhere in your script. So now what we want to do is if we're paused, we want to open a menu screen, right? But we don't want the menu screen to be there all the time. We only want to show when we are paused. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we should do, guys, the easiest thing is to create a check for it. Uh, make a true or false variable that checks to see if we're paused or not. It's called a boolean. So private bool um, is paused right here. This says private bool is paused. So currently by default it's set to false. But in the start function, I set it again to, to clarify and confirm that it's false. So is paused is equal to false. So what this says is that if is the game paused, true or false? Um, no, the game is currently uh, not paused, so it's set to false. If it was paused, it would set, be set to true. So now what we need to do, guys, is do our GUI stuff. Um, for this video, you should have already watched. Uh, I'm not really going to do a lot of the code snippets, guys, so you should have watched my second video that talks about how to do on GUI, the box, the labels, and the buttons, and stuff like that. So what you need to do, though, guys, is create a on GUI. All right, so create your void on GUI. All right, and what you want to do is first thing is you want to check when do we want this on GUI to show, guys? We want to show when we pause the game. So how do you check that? What, what did we just talk about? Our bool says if it's paused, set it to true. If it's if it's not paused, set it to false. So obviously you need to make a check, and a check is a simple if statement. Okay, inside here you're going to check to see if your bool is true or false. Um, so obviously you're going to put your bool in there. If it's true, then do this. So do a check to see if it's true or false. Then what do you want to do? Your GUI code. GUI code. Um, you put your GUI box, don't, and then you can add a button. So you have a GUI box that pops up. Then under that, you want to put if a, a, a button. So make a button, and we know that buttons are if statements because you check to see if that button is clicked. Okay, and if all right, so if button is clicked, so if button is clicked, whatever the button name is, button, whatever you name that button, make that button in the method here. What do you want to do? If that button's clicked, that button is going to be an unpause button. You can also add other option menu buttons if you want, but I use an unpause button. So if the unpause button is hit, what do I want to happen, guys? Two things. I want the menu screen to close, and I want the game to start. So obviously, I'm going to set what? I'm going to set my is the game pause bool to false. So is paused equals to false, and then what? We want to unpause the game, so we need to parse our pause function. All right, and what that does is if the button's clicked, is pause equals to false, which means the menu screen will close. On top of that, it's going to run through our pause function to see if time scale is zero, and if it's not zero, set it to one. So that means it's going to unpause. And then you can also add in a debug.log here, and what that will do is that will say um, you have clicked the pa the unpause button. 
you'll click the unpause button. Okay? And when you go ahead and run your code, when you go ahead and run your code, you'll have this as a result. Hit P, unpause, click it, and it unpauses. I'm going to show you again. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Hit unpause. There you go. See? And I can also still hit P to unpause it, but I can also click unpause. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any problems, uh, just message me or comment below. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you have any requests for future tutorials, send them my way. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.